I'll just do a real quick video here of my yard. So, you know, if anybody wanted to see what my yard looks like. And we got the little shed over here. Pretty good uh, tomato patch. No tomatoes because we got tomato worms. So that's what you get when you got stuff outside. It's just our little garden area, zen area, whatever you want to call it. And then this is the greenhouse. You see how big the greenhouse is. It's 40 feet. Uh, kind of narrow, over 100 foot wide, and taking up 40 feet with our greenhouse. Well, actually, 50 feet. So in here we've got the uh, aquaponics set up. Let's see if I can get that in view here. I got a 300 gallon tank, and it's about 260 gallons in there. I've got um, a filter running on my manifold. I got two outputs coming from the pump. The black line is the pump. Um, one of those lines goes into that filter and then shoots out in here up a small jet. And then the large tube that you see there is coming from that planter. And that's the uh, last stop for the water coming out of the tube. It uh, drops down here into this planter. This is filled with uh, three-quarter rock, which you can see here, the, the bigger river rock. It's filled most of the way with that, and the top two inches is the smaller river rock. I took some uh, radishes out and put them in here today that were not doing too good. Their counterparts are right here. These are actually the ones that were looking better. Uh, they don't really have any roots on them yet, so I have to let them root a little bit more. Anyway, put a few plants in here today, just to try to get some roots in here to uh, capture some of the fish waste. We've got fish in the tank. I don't know if we can see them with the water flowing like this. Pretty dirty water. Came straight from the lake. We're trying to filter it and clean it right now. There's also three really big shrimp in there and a big uh, a big uh, bass. I'm not sure if it's a smallmouth or widemouth bass. Here's the pump. We've got a small pump here, which uh, I don't know how many gallons per minute it is. It's uh, let's see. I don't know. Anyway small pump. We've got a timer set up. We've got it to run every six hours. Right now I'm running it constant. Uh, got a pressure switch set up so the pressure shuts off whenever that valve shuts on the timer and the pump shuts off. So every six hours that will run. <clears throat> our input to our long planter. This planter is about uh, 40 feet long. There's about 40 holes in it. You see the uh, hose drops into it right here and it falls downhill to the other planter. That's 25 feet. A little bit more than 25. Um, then we just cut a hole out of the bottom, plug up the end with a one and a half inch styrofoam, double sided. The water drops in here. We've got rocks and a little diverter to make it change direction. And then you can see up here that we've got rocks that we slow the flow with. And you can see what I did here. I just set a plant in there in a pot. And you can see here how the water's flowing over the big round rock. Another plant just sitting in there. And here we've got uh, what I'm calling a bird's nest. It's actually just uh, coconut fibers that are made into a little bird nest with the roots in there so it makes a little cradle for the plant and I've done that in a couple of places here I'm gonna try that out see how it works so we've got uh, the water flowing out of the big pipe at the top dropping down into the pipe on the bottom 
flowing through past all these plants, which there will be, all of those will be full of plants. And then you can see here I've got it pretty deep down here at the bottom. I keep it about an inch from the cutouts. So I keep as much water in there flowing over those rocks as possible. And then it drops out right here. And this bed, you can see the water level back here. I keep the corner cleaned out so I can see just how high that water is. And I got the water about two inches below, sitting in the big rock. Up here in the front, I had to, keep, to make a little box around that output so it wouldn't um, get clogged up. I have to keep a good flow. And here we got a strainer, which I don't know how many microns it is, but it's, it's, um, you know, it's not enough to get the clarity back, but it's enough to get big debris. And then you just open it up and drain whatever's in here out the bottom. And that cleans that filter. So whatever gets past that flows in that tube right out under the water. And the water coming out of here is going through that filter. So what we I'm not exactly sure what's going to go on here. Uh, I, I don't know how long it's going to take to get the water right. Uh, so this is the first day of running. And uh, we'll do another video after we see how this works out.